Chilean Patagonia. Breathtaking. Majestic. Truly supernatural. This is one of the last great trout destinations in the world. In this special episode, we are the guests of Francisco Vilchez, who is the owner of ChiliTrout.com. He will guide us on some incredible rivers and lakes in Chilean Patagonia, where we can cast streamers or dry flies for big brown and rainbow trout. This is going to be incredible. Stay with us. New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Orvis Sporting Traditions Patagonia, a place that has been on my bucket list for a very long time. A destination that many say is nirvana for fly fishers who love wild trout and beautiful scenery. Well, now I'm here and fishing in this magical place. My very good friend, Norm Bolin, has been coming here for years and kept encouraging me to make the trip down. He raved about the striking landscape, clean, clear water, and the phenomenal fishing. But most of all, he raved about Francisco Vilchez, who is known by everyone as Pancho. Pancho is a warm, intelligent, and genuine person, and actually one of the best guides I've had the pleasure of spending time with. He owns a small but lovely lodge with wonderful accommodations located in the heart of Chilean Patagonia. Recently built, this lodge has all the comforts to make your stay memorable, including wonderful food. His cozy lodge is in fact nestled on a hillside on the banks of a wonderful lake that is full of rainbow trout. It is here on this lake that my fishing adventure begins. Best of all, it is with dry flies. Pancho started us casting grasshoppers for the large and explosive rainbow trout. Nice. What size he is. Nice take. Yeah. That's a good take. Very splashy. Good set too. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can. Okay, knees ready. Yeah, pours it up a little bit. All right. Just nice. Nice. So is that an average size fish yep, here? Yeah, that's an, a pretty average size fish here. Healthy rainbow. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Good Lovely guy. Yeah. Put it back in the water. And there he goes. Nice. All right. So Francisco's got us going along and we're cast into these little holes in the weeds. And it's basically sight fishing because what happens is I put the fly into the hole and these big fish come out from underneath the weeds and they're big fish. Oh, set. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna get, just leave it there in the hole. I'll get closer. Got him up high. He's on top of the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is insane. Okay, get right on him. You see him? It's right there. Look at that. That's good sized fish. Well done. Hey, buddy, coming out. Mm -hmm. Off he goes. Nice. 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 Nice.
goes. Good eye. Nice. I didn't see him. Well done. Now, well done. what Francisco did is we had a couple refusals on a big, uh, was that a, a hopper yep. pattern? Uh -huh. We had a big one and Francisco said to me, why don't we go to half that size? Cause they came up and looked at it. And sometimes you go smaller, it's a trigger. First cast, boom. So. Patagonia is truly a special place. A bucket list destination. This is a place dreams are made of. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Drop set. Nice. Oh, oh. oh, 2x. Yeah. Oh. Move to the left. Move to the left. Keep it yeah. away from the weeds. Yeah. 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 Keep away the weeds. Going in short. Oh, look at that fish. You got the net there? I got a heavy fish. To hold it with one hand. Great. Yep. Find the boat. Bring him up. Bring him up. Okay, ready? You got to okay. set up. Oh! You want this sunlight? Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. okay, you want to put it back in the water? Yeah. Like this guy. Nice. Based on how well the fishing is going, I can tell this is going to be an amazing trip. Unlike a conventional lodge, where you usually fish only one river or lake, Pancho likes to take his guests throughout the region every day, trying a new fly fishing adventure. We love this travel and opportunity to see the wonders of the region, and of course, sampling different types of fishing. Today, Pancho has brought us to a lake with tall reeds, floating mats of grass, and big trout. He promises us some incredible topwater and subsurface fishing. Norm and friends join me today as we continue to fish all day and into the night. Simone, our guide, spotted a couple fish rising. I have a large floating stimulator on and uh, I threw it out. The fly sunk a little bit and the fish took it. I'd say it looks to be a good brown. It's a very nice fish. Good way to start the day. This is our first fish of the day here. These are very powerful. Look at that beautiful fish. Now I have to be careful because I only have 4X on here, which is fairly light. The fish is heavier than the tippet for sure. And we'll just, don't want to horse him. Definitely want to, um, Whoops, keep him out of the weeds, for sure. That's where he wants to go. Notice they'll head for the weeds right away to try to uh, uh, break you off. Yes, oh, nice. Now that is a beautiful big brown, a big Chilean brown. First thing in the morning on a stimulator. That's exciting. Uh, that's a fantastic fish. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful fish. Love it. Look at the scuds, full of scuds. Yeah. Feeding on scuds. No, set, set, set. There we go. Whoa. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Beautiful big brown. I saw him rising in the corner here. I had a nymph on it first, broke the nymph off in the weeds, which happens a lot around here. Then threw out this big stimulator. Sure enough, he took it. Right in the corner there. Ooh, nice fish. They're beautiful. Oh, wow, he's crazed. He is unhappy. Yeah, Woo! wow, woohoo, baby. Good job. When he took that fly, he just hammered it. Honk. There was no question of whether the hook was in or not. It was in. And I'll just show you what he took. Took a stimulator. 
and I was, you know, sinking it just a little bit so it replicated in a merger, but he took it really good. I'm going to let this guy go. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? That is a beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. In here, he was porpoising, feeding on scuds or emergers, and there he goes, and he's happy fish. Oh, that's a big fish. I'm, go I'm getting out. I'm getting big out. fish. Uh, we yep, I got him. We got him out. He's trying to go into the weeds, mm -hmm. fighting him. Oh, that is a tank. We got one X tipping on it. He's gone right into those reeds. Oh, I'm holding him. He's still pulling a little bit of line. I gotta give him some. Getting him on the reel. That was the most tremendous take by that big tank brown. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, on the reel. Yeah. yeah. Get away from the oh, hang on. Wait, wait. Oh, he's gone back in. He's in something. Still in the reeds? Yeah. Okay. He went back in. Oh, he's out. He's out. I got him out. Okay. Not ready. This is what I love about this place is surface fishing and those big, huge animals taking a grasshopper. Oh. Yes. Oh, I'm so thrilled. That is excellent. All right, let's let this big boy go here. You ready? Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful brown trout caught on a hopper. Off he goes. Nice. Well done, Colin. The flies we used on the lakes here in Chilean Patagonia include woolly buggers in traditional colors like black and brown seem to connect with both the rainbows and brown trout. For topwater action, foam flies were preferred by Pancho. Grasshopper and ant flies work best in smaller sizes. The mice patterns we use vary, but the key was to put out a pattern that would make noise or gurgle when retrieved. Try to keep away from the weeds. Poncho's doing a great job. I got him on the reel. Doing a great job in the oars. Whoa. Look at this rod. This is a six weight. Whoa. And I'm basically using a woolly bugger with a sparkle in it. Well, that's a big fish. That is a beautiful. Look how bronzy he is, too. Gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's my biggest fish of the trip. That's outstanding. It's now dark, and we sharpen our mouse pattern hooks for some late night topwater action with the big browns under the moonlight. This should be really spectacular. Slurp that. Got him on. Well, we just proved why you gotta sharpen a hook. Oh yeah, and the weight of this thing. <laughs> what a take. Oh that poor little mouse. <laughs> well, we just back away here because there's gonna be more of these big boys. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. Beautiful. What a take. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's a pig! Took that poor mouse right off the top. Okay, he's falling back in the water. All right. There you go. Today, Pancho has promised me something very special. He says it is one of the prettiest lakes in the region. We set out in rather bad weather and winds, but soon they calmed. This lake is beyond beautiful and reminds me of the lakes in the Austrian mountains.
So, Pacho and I are going down the river. We're throwing streamers. We're getting, looking for some spots where the wind isn't as bad. Oh, that was big fish. See him? Um, anyways, just had a nice follow here. He's got me throwing a black streamer. It's got a bead head on it and a sink tip. And anywhere, I throw to where Poncho tells me, but you know, there's the obvious spot you see, a big rock and a deep hole behind it, edges, things like that. Oh look, I got two trout behind this thing. Um, and the water's crystal clear. But what's interesting is that he's also telling me to cast into water that's got to be four to six inches deep and strip it back. And we're finding fish sitting up there, which I wouldn't think, given there's so much cover and structure, but they're in there and they're eating, right, Poncho? You know, there's brown sitting there waiting for these beetles to go by or, or little brown trout. So we're getting fish on those shallow water and the little riffles. So he's having me cast virtually everywhere from what I can see. That, oh, there's another one. But the key is, oh God, there's so many fish here, it's insane. And they're all brown trout. We haven't seen any rainbows yet, but they're here as well. Got one. Good. Mm -hmm. What happened there, we're getting some follows. I had some short hits and then it died. And Pancho said to me, strip faster. And that made the difference. Okay, great. I'll just bring him in here real quick. There we go. Beautiful. Flies out. I'm not going to do anything. Look at the colors in that fish. Isn't that beautiful? There he goes. Unharmed. Perfect. Having a bit of a funny day, a big front came through. We fished the river, had a ball. Finally got a brown here in the lake to take. We probably seen 20 fish follow my streamer. And the only thing that seems to be working, as Poncho suggested, I was trying to slow a retrieve, is something fast, something hot. This is not a big one, but it's the first one I've been able to hook. All the other ones followed and wouldn't commit. Get this guy in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's not a bad fish. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous fish. There he goes. And in case you're wondering, we always wet our hands. Make sure that we don't take the slime off the fish. Let's see if we can get another one, Poncho. You called that right. He was right in amongst some fallen timber. All right. He did it. <laughs> he gave us a good. little twitch at the end. And that, I don't know if that was a fish I saw, I just saw a fish come up. And what we've been looking for is fish coming up and eating things on top because we had a lot of high winds earlier. Okay, let's try again. Ah, yeah. All right. Beautiful fish. All right. Good. Things are beginning to change. And even though the lens is covered with water and we're all covered with water, we're having a great time. And how could you not, I mean, we could catch no fish and I'd still had a great day here. It's so perfect, so beautiful. I don't know, I just feel like singing. Our third lake of the trip was a bit of a drive, but absolutely worth it. Pancho thought we should enjoy this lake because of the style of fishing here, which is similar to a September drift boat trip in the western part of the USA. On this lake, we're casting small grasshopper patterns against the rocky shorelines, hunting for cruising brown trout. It didn't take long to connect. Fish on! You want me to turn the boat or something? Yeah. Going right out to deep water. All right. This area is very deep, so he's gonna keep yeah. going down if we don't horse he's him bulldogging up. Bulldogging like a brown, so. Uh -huh. yeah. I just got him on the surface here. 
Got him. All right. Nice. Look at that. It's almost reddish on the side of your rainbow. There he goes. So that fish took inside here, and we've rode out probably 50 yards. And look at this guy, he's still going. Poncho told me the fish in here, there's a lot of food, and these wild trout get very strong, very big. These aren't stocked, these are all wild trout. I hope he's ready, he's ready up. Oh, there he goes. All right. Poncho just said to me, put it in closer. And I did. And what happened there, I gave it a little twitch. I saw a flash, a refusal, another twitch, nothing. And on the next one, he came and hit it. And he took it aggressively. All right. We hope you enjoyed part one of our incredible trip to Chilean Patagonia. In part two, we take on some of the incredible river and stream fishing. Thanks for watching and check out our website for more information about Chilean Patagonia. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to get all of our weekly uploads. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Orvis Sporting Traditions.